All right, what's going on? So, uh, still can't seem to catch a break from Mother Nature. If it's not snowing, it seems to want to rain around here now. But uh, today I'm back on the scooter. I'm gonna try to get a whole bunch of stuff done to this thing today. Try to tear it down completely the rest of the way. I gotta get a bunch of these hard parts sent off to my guy to get powder coated. And I also wanna work on this headlight some because it seems like the fairing could possibly contact some. You see that or not? So I'm gonna kinda mess with that a little bit and make sure it's not gonna hit before I get this whole thing painted and then flip the headlight down and it scratches it all to pieces. Well, I guess first things first, I'm gonna work on this headlight. All right, show. Sure. Yo, jump box hooked up. All right, so I got a uh, new key switch for it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it up in here. I'm just gonna see this one I'm talking about. Uh, hits. Try to flip this hood up. It's hitting. So we'll get this popped in here and we'll see how she's working. Look at that. <laughs> it's broken too. That's how she got popped apart. Appear to be missing a fuse. So it'd be a five amp for the light motor. <laughs> Nothing's in there. So let's get that popped in there and it should start working. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just take all these front covers off. Cause I thought maybe it was just a, using the jump box was enough power for it. Let go, this might break. Oh but uh, hook the ground battery up to it and it's still not working. And I swear this was working before because I thought whenever I did the walk around video, I had the jump box hooked to it and I thought whenever I unhooked it, it was going down, but I guess not. Or maybe something's going to come loose, who knows. Let's get this apart and we'll see. Well, somebody had fun in here. Ugh. I did something that I wasn't recording. There's a little knob over here. I just cranked that little red knob and now it's making noises and it's moving. I found out that this bolt right here in bushing was completely missing on this side. So that's one reason why it was off. Alright, well I guess I'm going to try to WD-40 up in this knob. Try to see if I can clean this out some. Hopefully get it working smoothly. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take the headlight off. Try to mess with it a little bit on here. So far, it's only wanting to turn whenever I turn this little red knob. Alright. Let's pop this cover off and see what it looks like on the inside here. There it goes. So hopefully the stuff doesn't go flying everywhere. Well, I wouldn't 
didn't say there's any corrosion or anything in there that's causing problems. It also looks brand new. Hmm. Let's put this back together. Alright, so I'm done fooling with the headlight motor. I can't figure it out. So I've resorted to just throwing a post up on Facebook to try to see if anybody there can help me. But uh, if not, I guess I'll keep fooling with it later on. And uh, I just finished taking the little front inner fender off. Tossed that in the trash because it's busted all the pieces. Tell you what, if you want to restore one of these old scooters, they're going to nickel and dime you in plastic pieces. So every piece of plastic I take off on this bike, I look at it and it's cracked. Some of them are just barely cracked, but I'm like, I'll just, I'll just keep it and run with it. And some of them, like that front fender, were just shattered. I'll show you. I mean, it's still salvageable, but all these pieces are broken off of it. And it's just kind of hanging there, flopping around. So I don't want to go through all the trouble putting all this time and stuff into this scooter and then just have something stupid like that flopping around underneath it. Alright, well now I'm going to go ahead and jack it up. i got to get these tires off of it because I'm going to get these wheels painted. And I need to get the kickstands and center stands off of it too. Alright, so let's get to that. Sure. I actually had to strap the bike down to this lift before, but this thing is weird. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and get the tires and wheels off. See, I'm not sure. Looks like they painted over the bolts. I guess I'll paint over the bolts too. I think this cable right here is froze up. Front brakes like rock solid, but the cable still moves around. So, not sure what's going on with that. I don't know what the heck that is. Huh. We'll figure that out eventually. Alright, well, it looks like I'm not going to be getting these wheels powder coated now because this seal right here in this front wheel is a non existent. Everywhere that had it, had it at one point, is all out of stock now. Unless I come across one for sale on eBay. I'm not going to risk trying to pull that seal out without tearing it. So, I'm kind of bummed about this now. Now I don't know where I want to go with colors and how I'm going to paint it. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, remove the rear wheel because I need to do that anyways. Alright. All the things I would expect to be rusted, I was not expecting to uh, be spinning the exhaust nuts off with my fingers. It's just kind of mind blowing how tore up some things are on this thing, and then how most of the stuff that I would expect to be tore up, like these studs being corroded. Um, just the engine being completely corroded, rust in places, all that's non existent, but it's all the weird things that are broken. Missing this and missing that. Like this tail light, one little piece right here broke off of it. How does that happen? Off. 
Now look at it, there's one little nut right there. Screw this rusted on this exhaust. That's crazy. Let's see if this old D wall will pop this off. And the rear brakes on this thing worked really good. Yeah, it's still got a lot of pad left. So I ain't gonna mess with those at all. One thing I know about drum brakes is if they're working, leave them alone. Alright, let's pop this drain plug and see what this oil looks like. Pop this thing off first. I'm curious what's in here. Man, this is supposed to be drained every so often. Oh gosh. It's pretty black. Though. All right, well, got the oil drained out now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this plug and drain the coolant out. And we'll start unhooking everything and drop this motor. Mm. That was pretty bad. All right, let's start finding all these wires where this is draining out and get them unhooked. Make sure everything's disconnected from this in there. I don't know if this is stock or not, but check this radiator hose up. This thing is smashed up into that hose, and it's like a sharp 90 degree bend in it. That's crazy. Alright, let's pop this one radiator hose off and it should be completely disconnected. Engine's out. Alright, well, this video didn't completely go as expected. Uh, got a lot of change of plans, a lot of stuff to think about now as far as the scooter goes. Um, but in the next video, I'll be tearing into the engine, we'll be going over cleaning it all, and I'm going to open up the variator. Uh, probably clean it because I guarantee it's probably full of grease. Uh, replace the sliders, and I gotta get the clutch out to send it off to get it reworked. But after that, not completely sure yet, because I don't know if I'm gonna continue going through with painting this thing yet, or if I'm just gonna rough it up and just keep it 1986. But uh, I guess then we'll let you know. See you in the next one. Sure.